right, today, uh, well, yesterday at work, a friend of mine bought a USB thumb drive off of eBay, and it doesn't seem to hold anything over the capacity of 2 gigabytes. So he asked me, you know, what was wrong with it. He got it from China and blah, blah, blah. So um, I got a hold of it, and it looks like this here, and it was he got it for 20 bucks and I was like 20 bucks for 16 gigabytes is kind of hard to come by so I said let me see it let me go home and try to see if I can figure something out on it and run a bunch of Linux tests on it but I come up with a cool solution here and that'll that will test it here's a Raymond CC and um, test and detect fake or counterfeit USB drives brought from eBay with H2 test W so what this does basically is it uh, keeps writing to it um, a bunch of small files until it runs into it and runs into a problem or doesn't run into a problem for that matter and it figures it out and so you have this right here you'll have an output once it's all done it takes like two hours for the 16 gigabyte or supposedly and and then you'll get this little message so it this links you right here it'll link you to a website um, like this it's all in German and this is your output file this is when once it's all done it'll look like this that red um, stuff so you know that's what it's gonna look like and I translated it here with Google um, translate and I will put that link up there so what you do is you go ahead and you download it right there and then um, you'll have your file Okay, so you'll have a, uh, I, I got a raw file, and then there's a readme in there, and uh, and then there's this. So I extracted it to the desktop, so I'm just going to double click that. First things first, go to my computer, find the drive that's in question you have plugged into your drive, format it. Um, so this one, has B, this one that I'm doing is J. Be careful with what you're doing. Don't just format any drive, you know what I'm saying? So back up your data first. Right click. Um, oops. Right click. And you go to format. Always pick default allocation size. And then you click quick format. And then you click start. Let that do that. Then you run the test. So. I always pick English and then select target and you go to my computer remember it was uh, drive J so I clicked on that click OK alright now I this already has I've already done the test and so it ain't going to let me do this again. I guess I'd have to erase it and reformat it. But you click write and verify. And then go get a cup of coffee. Go do your shopping or something because it's going to take a little while. Then when you come back, you're going to get that uh, you're going to get that output that I showed you earlier. Um, That's what it looks like here. And I'm going to show you what mine look like because I copied it to a notepad. I don't know. Wrong one. Where is it? USB shit. So here's what it looks like here. So the media is likely to be de defective. And then it says 1.9 gigabytes okay. And then it says 14 gigabyte um, data loss. So and then it gives some other um, details. I suggest again reading the readme file that comes in the raw, um, the raw file with it because uh, it gives a lot more detail of what you know the ins and outs and what's going on with this so basically what we have here is a two gigabyte thumb drive sold on eBay falsely advertised as a 16 because 14 plus 2 you know 16 so what would happen a lot of times is that these companies that make these flash drives will make a whole bunch of 16 gigabyte flash drives and then they're gonna have some that are defective so they throw them in a bin or something. Somebody got a hold of them, reprogrammed them, and and so the, they got the two gigabytes. <clears throat> Been ripped off. So that's that. Um, so that's how you do that. And 
you could give this information that um, information in the README to eBay or however I don't use eBay because uh, I just don't like it I don't trust it and I've heard too many horror stories I had a friend buy a wall um, a cell phone that was a water gun cell phone and and then there's people who heard of uh, buying bricks and stuff like that and so yeah this test is uh, it's a really good test it gives you it tells you without a doubt that the thing's bad because it says it's most likely to de be defective and um, on that note I suggest using websites like pacificgeeks.com um, geeks.com tiger direct Amazon um, stuff like that so make sure you find out you know I wouldn't just buy from anybody if it's too good to be true then it probably you know is not true you know what I'm saying so hope this was helpful that's how you test and detect a fake counterfeit USB flash drive bought from eBay rate comment subscribe check out my new channel another DIY I'm putting only computer stuff like this on that channel thanks for watching and have a great day. Peace.